Welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss the relationship between Scorpio and Sagittarius. So these two make for a, a little bit of a below average sort of compatibility, um, but not in all ways. Today, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to start with the friendship between the two. The friendship, I'm going to give these guys 80%. The reason being is when these guys first meet each other, there's definitely a spark and there's definitely a lot of attraction between them. This gives them a very, very lively friendship in where they can like discuss anything. And Sagittarius is able to do to Scorpio what probably no other sign can do and make them feel very invigorated and recharged and have a, a zest for life that they've probably never felt. So when they have them as a friend, they actually really feel invigorated to try new things and do a lot of things that they might have viewed as risky or against the reputation. And the reason for this is because Sagittarius is a mutable sign, whereas they're a fixed sign. So they kind of bring them out of their fixation and really bring the randomness of the exalted Uranus in them out more. So they try random activities and they're able to do things without fear of judgment. Um, Scorpio now, on the other hand, is able to give Sagittarius that view of being solid, foundational, um, having some substance to them. A Sagittarius a lot of times has a lot of intellect and they have a very intellectual approach to life, but it can be quite abstract at times. It could be a little bit um, all over the place. And Scorpio, when they discuss things with them, will actually help them ground their energy and then bring it to the physical, tangible world. So a friend that's a Scorpio will actually tell a Sagittarius, hey, listen, you're a smart person. This is what you should do with your knowledge. This is where you're going to make the most money. And this is an action plan for you to actually get it done. Now, all the Sagittarius person has to do is then go and stick with it. So this is a very, um, I would say, complementary relationship between the two, and that's why it works out so, so well. In a business format, it's quite similar. I would say it's about 65%. It's a little bit lower than the friendship for the reason being that the Sagittarius has a little bit of a problem when it comes to running into problems and then running away from them. Whereas Scorpio is literally the force of nature when it comes to problems. They fixate, they target something, and they just go straight at it. Any obstacles that are in the way, they run through it or they finesse it. They are considered unstoppable. Like I've said in the prior video, Scorpio is literally considered the most powerful sign in the zodiac spectrum for this very reason. When they are in a business, they're, they're, they want to get something done. They can literally turn to psychopaths. Like they're going to get it done and they are ultimately going to get what they want. They have that sort of fixated energy to really um, run through any curves or any sort of detours and make sure that they use it to their advantage. Sagittarius is very smart, sometimes even smarter than Scorpio, but the problem is that when they hit problems, they want to think, they want to second guess, they have that mutable quality, and they don't stick with it long enough to see it through. So in a complementary sense, when they're working together, at least Scorpio can keep them on task, but it's up to the temperament of the Scorpio as of whether or not it's going to work out in the long run, if they're going to put up with the Sagittarius running off, or if they're just going to say, well, screw this, I don't want to work with you. Like, that's the whole point. If you're a Sagittarius in this relation, make sure you're sticking with things, make sure you're getting your tasks done, and communicate any problems that you may be having. If you're a Scorpio, try to have that patience and understand that not everybody's going to be a workaholic like you. You're very similar to the life path in numerology, where you just work through everything and you just view like pain as a definition. You view problems as something that's going to obviously naturally happen, and you just view it like you just need to get a solution. I get that. However, not everybody's going to view it like that, and some people get discouraged emotionally. So just have the patience for that. Last but not least, we have the intimacy. And this is where it gets quite funny. It's 50% of the time it's going to work. Here's why. Um, with Scorpio and Sagittarius in an intimate relation, if the relationship starts off like how their friendship does with that invigorating sort of feeling, it's going to be up to the Sagittarius to keep making the Scorpio feel like that. After a while, the Scorpio might view the Sagittarius person as somebody who's changeable. If they change the perspective on things, if they're not quite sticking with their opinion, their perspective, that's when problems arise and Scorpio starts judging and using that eye of scrutiny and then saying, well, I can't really trust you. And this is the number one problem in their relationship is that usually it starts off very strong. But then the Scorpio finds a reason not to trust the Sagittarius. Once that happens, the respect is gone. They begin lying and deceiving them. And then, of course, that's just going to lead to problems. The Sagittarius is a very smart sign, and they'll know if they're being lied to. On the other hand, the Sagittarius person might get bored with the routinely order of the Scorpio. At first, you're going to find them very mysterious and dark in that brooding personality. But after a while, if they, they start to get to know them and they start seeing that this person is living a very routine life or they're, they're just not exciting them the way in which they used to, 
that's when problems can arise as well because the Sagittarius likes to have a lot of change in scenery, change in people, change in foods. They're all about change, change, change. They have that fiery passion, but it needs to see a lot of change in order to keep itself ignited. Um, so if you're a Scorpio person, the solution to this is just to mix things up every couple of weeks or so, or at least once a month, maybe a different restaurant, different date. Um, for the Sagittarius, make sure that when you have an opinion on something, especially if you're in an intimate relation with somebody, make sure you stick with it. Take yourself seriously. Scorpio is a very self-respecting sign, and they want people that are self-respecting around them that are orderly and have a strong opinion. They're going to stick with that. If you're not somebody that's going to be doing that, you're not somebody who's going to be prudent, you cannot be with a Scorpio, unfortunately, because they're not going to respect you. Um, that's the main issue with these guys is the trust, and of course, and then the respect in that sense. When it comes to their communication styles, um, they can get into pretty orderly debates. Sometimes it can get a little bit personal, um, but for the most part, that stuff is healthy for these guys. Um, they need that excitement anyway, so I really recommend practicing your oratory skills with each other and making sure that each person understands their point of view. Because with that being said, that's actually going to make your relationship tighter and you guys' compatibility is going to get that much more accelerated because you're going to be able to see how your partner thinks and maybe even get new ideas for yourself. Um, but aside from that, that pretty much does conclude it when it comes to these two. If you guys have any questions or disagree with me, please just let me know in the comments. Uh, but aside from that, guys, please like, subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow, guys. Peace. Mm -hmm.